Well, someone who helped make that dream come true for Amelia Rose is Jamie McDonald. Now an adventurer, he set up the Superhero Foundation after his own experience of beating the odds as a child. I spoke to him earlier in his get up as alter ego adventure man. Any old excuse, really, isn't it? Just to don the superhero suit. Have you got yours on? Oh, honey, I'm no way near the superhero you are. I don't deserve to wear it, but you definitely do. <laughs> how, how did you come to hear of Amelia Rose and, and help her the way you have? Um, well, so to be honest, I haven't really done that much. It's down to the family, really. Uh, what we do with Superhero Foundation, really, is just give the families the best platform to raise the money and that they need and we did that and you know it's like anything britain's just so amazing that it wasn't long before they got on board and especially where i live in gloucester and cheltenham they just supported the family and we hit the hundred thousand pound target which is pretty phenomenal you are so humble. I didn't really do much except help them get the money they need for her to get the surgery she needed so she can come out of the wheelchair. But, but I guess when you heard Amelia Rose's story, you completely related to her because this is something that happened to you at five years old. Yeah, I remember when I was five years old um, and I was lying in bed and I looked down at my legs and, uh, and I couldn't move them. And it was a really scary time. My mum and dad was with me and they were crying. And, you know, I just didn't know what was going to happen. And eventually I was diagnosed with a rare spinal condition called Schringomyelia. Uh, so sometimes I couldn't move my legs and had an immune deficiency. So I was pretty sick. Uh, but it was kind of down to the hospital, really, and the nurses and the doctors and, and moving as well. You know, I love to move. And so I think that kind of helped. And gradually the symptoms disappeared and I got my health back when I was about nine years old. Uh, so yeah, about, about eight years ago now, <laughs> I went to go and sign the papers to put a deposit on a house and I went, to, I went to get it and I just got this gut feeling in my stomach where I was like, something's wrong. And, and I pulled out and I didn't get it. And I just felt like there must be more to life. And, and that's kind of where my journey started really. And it is with that money that you were supposed to use to to buy a house. You know, nobody would begrudge you doing something like that. It's literally what many of us uh, aspire to do. You decided to take that money and give back to those in need, particularly at the hospital that helped you out all those years ago. Yeah, I mean, I bought a bicycle for 50 quid at the newspaper. It was one of the worst bikes known to man. And then with my £20,000 for the house that I saved up, I then went and cycled um, 14,000 miles from Bangkok back to Gloucester, back to the hospital in a pair of flip-flops. Bit daft, <laughs> but, um, but it did raise in the, in the end £20,000 and it's kind of blossomed and I've done adventures running across Canada, across America, all dressed up in this disgusting one adventure man suit. Uh, but it's raised over a million pounds now for sick kids and uh, and the journey continues and I get to meet families like, you know, the Waltons and meet, meet kids like Amelia Rose. What was it like seeing Amelia holding her little sister's hands and, and walking to school? <sighs> you know, I remember meeting the family and that was the dream. You know, that was the dream to get her walking and to walk her sister to school. And, you know, we just thought, let's go for it. And so uh, to see that kind of idea seed and then suddenly see the video and see it happen and see the dream accomplished uh, just, just warms my heart. What a hero. Jamie McDonald, a.k.a. Adventure Man, talking to me earlier.